It's been a while since the Pokemon Legend ZA announcement trailer came out, and we haven't really gotten any news since then. Granted, the game isn't coming out until 2025, but the lack of information leaves a lot of room for speculation, and today I want to talk about 10 features we need in Pokemon Legends ZA. Now there's a whole bunch of features that were already in Pokemon Legends Arceus that I hope remain in this new game, like shiny Pokemon making a sound and sparkling when you encounter them. The whole catching mechanic, just walking up and slapping a Pokemon with the ball is super satisfying, but this video is going to focus on new features that weren't in Legends Arceus that I would like to see in the sequel, or features that were in it but I think could be enhanced or built upon to make it better. And I'm going to be ordering these from ones I think are most likely to appear to the ones that probably will never happen, but I'm still a little bit hopeful. So if you guys are excited, don't forget to hit that like button, and let's begin with changes to the battle mechanics. It's no secret that Legends Arceus featured a battle system quite different from your usual Pokemon games, with strong and agile style moves, and the attack order system that lets you see who's attacking next on screen. But one thing I always forget about Legends is Pokemon don't have abilities in that game. Coupled with the changes to EVs and certain moves behaving completely different meant that none of these Pokemon were usable in competitive play until way later when the Pokemon Home update came out. So I'm kind of hoping with Legend ZA they revert these changes and just make Pokemon behave more like they do in traditional games with abilities and EVs and stuff. This change means that they'd probably have to scrap the attack order system and make it more like traditional Pokemon, which I understand made Legends Arceus unique, but I personally was not a huge fan of the strong and agile style moves, like it was nice to mix things up, but I just don't think it was that fun, and oftentimes just meant that after using a certain attack, the enemy would get a free hit on your next Pokemon. Now the main reason I'm putting this at the top of the list of most likely to happen ties into the next feature, which is online play. Like I mentioned, Legends Arceus didn't have online battling or really much in the way of online connectivity other than trading, I guess. Maybe I'm forgetting something else, but if Legends ZA follows suit, that means we're going to be stuck playing Scarlet and Violet for another three plus years at least. No! God! But this feature could include more than just battling online. I would love to see them implement the Union Circle from Scarlet and Violet, which basically let you play the game in co-op mode. Everybody loves a little bit of co-op, especially online with friends nowadays that feels like a pretty commonplace thing in games, even in Pokemon. Implementing online features to ZA sounds awesome, especially if it means we don't have to wait until the next main series game to get some of these new regional forms or mega evolutions that they're probably going to add in competitive battling. And since I already brought them up and I know people are going to be asking why I didn't include this on the list, an honorable mention goes to Mega Evolution slash Regional Forms because I feel like it's a given that that'll be in the game so it's not really a feature that I'm hoping we get or need, it's something that's most definitely going to happen. The only thing that worries me regarding this topic is if they end up choosing one or the other, like we only get new Megas or we only get new Regional Forms, that would be pretty disappointing. Moving on though is probably the thing I want to see the most in Legends ZA, more trainer battles. I totally understand why Legends Arceus didn't have many trainer battles cause the region of Hisui like the people were literally scared of Pokemon and the concept of Pokemon trainers literally didn't exist in Hisui but this version of Kalos feels like it'll be a little bit more advanced. So in terms of the lore it would be cool if we saw the origins of Pokemon training like the very early first trainers ever in history. I know the footage we see in the trailer is most likely present day Lumios and not the one we're actually going to be playing the game in, but the fact we're redeveloping the city means people are probably already a little bit more accustomed to working together with Pokemon, at least compared to the people of Hisui, so I'm hoping that means we can see more trainers. At number 4 we have a fan favorite feature that just so happens to be one of my favorites too. Following Pokemon haven't been too uncommon in recent games, which makes me a little more hopeful they'll make it to Legend ZA. 
Pokemon walking behind you have been pretty hit or miss and wildly inconsistent, but it was still super cool to see them following behind you their different walking animations, which you could argue was sort of already in Legends. Like you could send the Pokemon out into the field and they can even like grab items for you and interact with certain parts of the environment, but they don't stay outside. Like if you walk away far enough, I'm pretty sure they go back in the ball. I think it'd be a lot better if your Pokemon could just follow along behind you picking up items that you walk by, which is pretty much how it works in Scarlet and Violet, so I just hope they keep this feature in for Legends. I know what you're thinking, item storage in Legends Arceus is an absolute nightmare. The amount of money this man stole from me to upgrade the satchel is definitely criminal. But maybe the following Pokemon could have their own storage, or even take the items back to the camp for you. Which again, happens to lead right into the next feature I'm hoping for. More ways for your Pokemon to interact with the environment. Assuming the redevelopment of Lumios has any sort of implication on the gameplay of Legend ZA, I could see Pokemon being assigned to certain tasks. We even saw a little bit of this in Legends Arceus, like you could assign Pokemon to the fields that let you harvest more berries, apricorns, and other plants. That could totally be expanded upon more in this game. Being able to assign certain Pokemon to like construction sites or gardening, for example. I know it probably sounds a lot like a certain other game, but again, it really depends on how important the whole redevelopment actually is to the gameplay. This next one falls right in the middle because it's not one I personally want too badly, but a feature I can totally see Pokemon implementing, and it's the Synchro Machine. The main reason I can see it coming back is that recently it feels like Game Freak kind of test an idea out in a game just to see how people feel about it and maybe later expand upon it. We saw it with the wild area in Sword and Shield, basically became the blueprint for Paldea's open world. And the Synchro Machine being randomly tagged at the very end of the last DLC feels like something they're just testing either for a future game or an entirely different spinoff. I just don't know how they could make it better. I mean, I guess one thing is not letting your Pokemon kill shinies and also letting them actually fly instead of just falling with style. Now, I know with this game being set in the past, that means the Synchro Machine wouldn't have been invented yet, but you know, they can easily make up a new name for the same feature, basically. Now we're getting into the realm of personal speculation or just things that I want to see but probably won't happen. And first is the return of gyms. In my previous videos, I theorized that the circle things we see on the map could be an early iteration of Pokemon gyms. But as time has gone on, I've kind of changed my mind on this and I'm now leaning more towards these being the arenas in which we fight noble Pokemon if that concept returns, that is. But it feels like there have to be some features that connect this to the previous Legends game. Noble Pokemon could be one of those defining features, especially with Megas coming back. There could be rampaging Mega Evolutions taking the place of Noble Pokemon. But I don't know why part of me would still prefer if Gyms returned. I mean, we basically had Gym Leaders in Legends Arceus. They were just called Wardens. Similar to how I mentioned this game could show off how Pokemon trainers came to be, we could also see the the origins of the gym challenge. Granted, these gym puzzles have been very hit or miss recently. I mean, I think they all kind of suck in Scarlet and Violet if we're being honest, but this could be a chance at redemption. Next is another feature that sort of could have fit in my earlier point about Pokemon interacting more with the environment, and it's the ability to ride any Pokemon instead of just specific ones. I know it's a lot to ask for every single Pokemon to have a ride function, but I just found it kind of lame how there were only those five ride Pokemon and their usefulness was cool like Ursaluna being basically an item finder or Sneasler carrying you on its basket that was very, very unique. But I think it'd be awesome if there were more options for the same function, like instead of just Basky Legion on the ocean, you could have basically any water Pokemon big enough to ride. I realize I'm basically describing Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so yeah, basically I want that. But if you want to take it a step further, I feel like Ride Pokemon could have even more functionalities. Dive could definitely make a comeback, but given the setting of this new game, doesn't really feel like there would be a lot of underwater segments, if any, really. Thinking about it, there probably wouldn't be much use for rock climb, unless you can just climb on the buildings, but like imagine you wake up, look out your window and there's a freaking Sneasler climbing up your wall, that'd be terrifying. And an invasion of privacy. So for that reason, I'm actually kind of curious what ride Pokemon will even be available. 
Moving on to something a bit more simple to implement. Voice acting is a feature fans have wondered if Pokemon might add for a while now, and I'm honestly quite shocked hasn't happened already. This is pretty far down on the list because I really don't think it's gonna happen, but there's been so many awkward moments in recent games like Sword and Shield especially with Pierre's, the Spike Muth gym leader. He is literally a singer, and yet in the cutscene, it's completely silent and it is one of the most empty feeling scenes in Pokemon history. Part of me feels that they were gonna have voice acting in these games and at the very end for some reason couldn't or maybe there wasn't enough budget, I don't know. But there's so many cutscenes that you can clearly see the characters mouths moving as if there would be words coming out but then you just got the text and you have to imagine it. I know most players spam A through the dialogue anyway, and I'm not asking for voice acting in every single cutscene but like the ones that are clearly more movie like could definitely benefit from it. I also totally get the argument that they would have to hire multiple actors for different languages, but this game isn't coming out till 2025 anyway, so they got more than enough time to do at least a Japanese and English dub. For this final feature, I want you all to put your tinfoil hats on, take the red pill, and follow me on this conspiracy. Well, it's not really a conspiracy, but it definitely is my own theory, and that is customization of Lumio City. Thinking about the concept of this game as a whole, the redevelopment of the city, I could actually imagine this being a Pokemon meets SimCity type of game. Not that you take the godlike perspective and you can literally place down whatever buildings you want, but that you can at least customize Lumios to your preference, like the five arenas I mentioned earlier, you can choose what type of gyms you want to put in those. And the ultimate goal of all of this is to basically create your own mini Pokemon region that your friends could potentially visit like an upgraded version of secret bases. I know if they went that far it might not even resemble a usual Pokemon game but neither did Pokemon Legends Arceus. At least in terms of battle mechanics and your goal in general wasn't at all like any of the other main series. So like I've been saying all video, it really just depends on what direction Game Freak want to go in, in terms of tying together the Legend series. I noticed a lot of streamers and YouTubers outside of the Pokemon space gave Legends Arceus a chance simply because it did what so many of them thought the Pokemon series would do when it stepped into the new generation like on Nintendo Switch. I for one definitely embrace the change so I'm excited to see what Legend ZA could have in store for us but it's just hard to even imagine with how little we got in the first trailer and that's why I haven't really been making too many videos but I felt that this one I at least had enough ideas to put together and you know share with you guys. So if you enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button and let me know what feature you would most like to see in Legends ZA whether it's returning or something totally new that I didn't mention. There's always some stuff I just would never even think of but then I'm like oh wow yeah that would actually be really cool so feel free to discuss it in the comments below and maybe I'll do a follow up talking about you guys' theories and ideas for this game in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.